Hey guys, it's Jessica here, and welcome to my new flip merchanting guide for 2012. I've made this guide as detailed as I can, going from what cash stack to use all the way to the best items to flip, which is the question that everyone wants to know. And also, I've put together a little contents page so you guys can skip to any specific part of this guide. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So, to get started, I'm going to go through what cash stacks I'd recommend you use when flipping. So, to really make flipping more profitable than, say, killing green dragons, you'll need a cash stack of around. 15 million minimum. I mean, of course you can use less, but it's really not worth your time and you may as well just be camping at Green Dragons. But if you do have 15 million or more, then you can start flipping. And another thing that I recommend you do, it sounds stupid, but sell your bank, unless you have max cash, so that you can get as much money as you can to start flipping. Because the more money you have, the more money you will make. So if you have a bank worth about 100 mil, but you only have a 15 mil cash stack and you use that to flip, then you'll be losing out on millions. And if you're worried about selling items because you're scared that they're going to go up in price, then just buy them back at the end of the day. Prices won't have changed. With a higher cash stack, you'll be able to buy and sell multiple items, instead of only flipping one item at a time. With max cash, you can make hundreds of mils per day if you stick at it for hours. Whereas with around 15 mil, you'll only be able to make a mil an hour if you're lucky. So once again, I really stress to get as much money as you can before flipping. Now onto how to find an item to flip. Actually, first I'm going to explain what flipping is for anyone who is already confused. Flipping is using the Grand Exchange to basically buy items for cheap and then selling them for high to make profit. So to find a good item to flip, you'll need to think of items that are bought and sold regularly in the GE. So I recommend trying PKing and PVM gear. Obviously, the more cash you have, the more expensive gear you can flip. But let's say I have a 15 mil cash stack and I wanted to see if Dragon Boots were a good item to flip. What you have to do is find the buying and selling price of Dragon Boots. So to find the buying price, you need to buy them for more than what they're worth, and uh, always buy the item that you want to flip for 10% higher than, th than it's worth. When you sell it to find your buying price, always sell for 10% under. I know it's confusing, but when you get used to it, it becomes natural. So the Dragon Boots bought for 126 k and then sold for 124,100 GP, which means you're only going to get near enough 2k profit per flip, which is horrible. Just keep, just keep testing items until you find one with a good profit margin, and then you can flip that item for as long as you want. Another thing to do is use the history on the GE to keep track of the buying and selling prices, or you could just write them down. Also, something that not many people know about is how to find items that are actively buying and selling in the GE. You'll want to use these items because obviously they will buy and sell faster and improve your profit per hour. A good way to find items is by going on the RuneScape website, go to Community, and then Grand Exchange. Then scroll down until you see most traded items, then just click more. There's loads of items to choose from, but sadly, they're fairly cheap items, so they're not going to be any good for wealthy players. Now onto how to maximize your profits when flipping. When you find three good items to flip, organize them in your GE slots. Have the top row with items you're buying, and then the bottom row with items you're selling. Also, if items not worth much are taking a couple of minutes to buy or sell, then that means you're probably competing with someone else to flip that item. So you'll have to adjust your prices slightly. Lower your selling price by a couple of GP, and also raise your buying price by a couple of GP. But not too much, as it'll affect your profit per hour. With a 15 mil, I just tried doing warrior rings, and uh, I made 50k within a couple of minutes. But the reason why I couldn't buy more than 10 warrior rings at a time is because of the GE cap. So you may be wondering, what is the GE cap? Well, the GE cap is how much you're allowed to buy within 4 hours. So, just to keep you guys aware of it, that applies of 25,000 runes, ores, or essence, 10,000 food, 10,000 arrows, bars, or planks, 5,000 familiar pouches, or seeds, 3,000 teletabs, 100 ta um, tools, jewelry, armor, and weapons, up to rune, 10 weapons and armor, dragon and above, and 2 rares or treasure trail rewards. Um, but the good thing about the cap is that after you sell the items back to the GE, then you can buy those items again, and it sort of cancels itself out. Okay, so now moving on to the final part of the guide, what you've all been waiting for, what the best items are to flip merchant. And I get asked this question so much on a day-to-day -day basis, and the answer is simply, no items. It sounds a bit stupid, but because RuneScape price changes are so unpredictable, it makes flipping really difficult, and the items that I flip change each day. For example, I might make 20k profit off each Amulet of Fury one day, but then the next day make no profit, so it really does change on a day-to-day -day basis. As I said earlier in the guide, find items that are actively bought and sold in the GE, and keep testing until you find three that give good profit. And in the background there's me using one build to flip with, and yes, originally when you first buy and sell the items, 
your bought for your buying and selling price, you will lose money. But that should be the only time you lose money, and from then on, it's just pure profit. What I will say, which a few items that I have worked with uh, in the past, with small amounts of cash, are things like archer's rings, warrior rings, amulet of glories, dragon boots, and region bracelets. Um, they were what I used to flip ages ago, but now that I've now that I have enough money for things like party hats, I flipped berserker rings, amulet of furies, full bandos, Robin Hood hats, glaven boots, AGS's claws. Really, the list does go on, and I've tried to flip like party hats before. But because they take so long to buy and sell, they become like an investment, which can lead to either losing or making tons of cash, so I'll definitely stay away from them. And now we have come to the end of this guide. I've tried to keep it accurate and short so that it doesn't drag on too much. And if you have any feedback for me, then please leave it in the comment section below. And of course, like this video if you have enjoyed and found it useful. It's the reason why I make videos, to seek good feedback from you guys. So if you could do that, then that would be great. Also, I always tell you guys to favorite my guides, not for myself, but if this guide has taught you anything, then just favorite it so that you can look back to it in the, in the future. And if you're watching this video from another channel, then feel free to come over to my channel and subscribe to me for all sorts of guides, PVM content, and a variety of RuneScape videos.